they're like a chemist company. They're they're chemists, yeah, and they deal with chemicals. And you're like, hey, I need this thing to be really strong, but I need to be stable to a thousand degrees. Yeah, I mean, we would figure it out. You and I would be like, well, uh, that'd be neat. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Ryan Gresham, and this, this is Gun Talk Nation. Hey, welcome into Gun Talk Nation. Today, we're going to talk about a company you've never heard of that's probably one of the biggest companies involved in making guns and cool products for shooters. Um, but first, this Gun Talk Nation is brought to you by Safari Land, Build Box TV Show, Franklin Armory, Ballistic Advantage, FN America, Rock River Arms, and Range Ready Studios. That's right here. Yeah. That's, <laughs> wait, I know those guys. I know those guys. So cool. So, uh, so welcome in. We got Kevin KJ Jarnigan in the house i'm i'm in something i'm yeah. i mean i'm in the oh, house we were the... in the hallway and i said you want to do a podcast <laughs> sure you're like all right sure yeah let's do a thing let's go so um i kind of teased it but i thought before we get into what we're going to talk about there's a little bit of behind the scenes because guns and just all the products that go along with for shooters for hunters there's the behind the scenes part of how this all happens. Right. I mean, just like any business, you've got supply chain, you've got suppliers. Even the SHOT Show had the supplier showcase, right. which is like, if you're at SHOT Show and you go the, over there, it's like, we have a machine that makes screws. You go, yeah. what? Wait, what? It makes screws? So you're telling me polymer doesn't grow on trees? Yeah. We have, you know, companies who specialize in just polymer and they also right. make polymer for other Everything. industries well this particular company we're, that we're going to talk about too like i guarantee you in your life and probably <laughs> every day you use a product mm -hmm. that they they produce yeah like yeah. the little the little rubber on the back of the toothbrushes all those things yeah yeah this company does they that. make that yeah so i and if there are certain I think the some of the times the magic from really cool new products is somebody. I mean, I know specifically like Sig, right? Mm -hmm. There's they'll be there's they've done some things over the years where you go, that's really neat. And you're like, well, yeah, we went to a different industry and we found this material yeah. that does something that we've never been able to do with guns, and it's enabling us to make. A pistol way heavier. Yeah. Things of that nature. Yeah. Um, so anyway, I mean, and we and we called this, it's just like the Gore-Tex episode. Wait, you're going to talk <laughs> about Gore-Tex? No, nope. we're not going to talk about Gore-Tex. But Gore-Tex, you think about it, who cares? People are like, it has yeah. Gore-Tex in it. You're like, well. What does that mean? What does that mean? Well, now we kind of, if you're into it and you're a gear nerd, waterproof, right? Yes. Waterproof, yeah. but I guess kind of the standard. Yeah, it's like this, it's the standard. I'll tell you of, what, though. As I recall, we can ask Tom Gresham this. Uh oh. When Gore Tex first came out, it didn't work that well. Well, they had like, time to improve it. I guess. <laughs> it was like, what's this Gore Tex? Either that or stuff. enough people got to talking about it and were like, this must really work. And it still doesn't <laughs> this work. This must really work. <laughs> like, I think it works, though. It it's pretty good. <laughs> so these are these guys are kind of I kept thinking of them like the Gore Tex of of the shooting world. Yeah, but they the do other stuff. Sports and yeah. All right. So um who is it? Who? What are we talking about? Who is it? Aviant. Aviant. A v i e n t. Yeah. Um. So they have a little over ten thousand employees worldwide. Uh. They, in two thousand two, they or two thousand and twenty two, three point six five billion dollars in revenue. It's a large company. Yeah. Uh. They've since two thousand seven. They've donated over nineteen point two million dollars to charitable organizations. And they have 115 plus facilities in 35 countries, and they make a lot of stuff that so, you guys are very. They're familiar kind of with. so. I, you know, Matt, I hope I'm saying this right, but as we were having a conversation, and they were educating us about what they are up to, they're like a, they're like a chemist company. They're they're chemists, yeah, and they deal with chemicals. And you're like, hey. I need this thing to be really strong, but I need to be stable to a thousand degrees. Yeah. I mean, we would figure it out. You and I would be like, well, uh, that'd be neat. Yeah. 
And they're like, yeah. That's what it's like when someone talks to me about like high tech stuff or something like that. I start to glaze over and go, huh, that'd be cool. I majored in communications. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can I, can I, do you need to know how to communicate better? Like we can do that. <laughs> but no, these, these folks are like, I mean, they just do a little bit of everything. And one of the, I mean, well, I thought I'd, I'd go here cause I've kind of, I've have, we have some notes here, um, going through some of the stuff they do that you probably have dealt with in your life. Yes. You mentioned the toothbrush yeah, yeah. thing that, that they, before we get into the, the shooting side of things. Um, so just kind of scrolling through, I mean, well, boring stuff, shampoo bottles. That's kind of boring to me. Well, but, I mean, yeah, but they figure boring, out like but cool essential. colors. Really cool ways to do the coloring aftermarket parts for like sidesteps of vehicles. Oh, no kidding. Like, okay. Oh. Did you think about that? That it has to be super strong. It has to color match perfectly. Yeah. It has to fit pretty tight tolerances. So it doesn't look like an, a goofy add on. It has yeah. to kind of be seamless with the design of, of the car. Huh? Um, I'm telling portable you. speakers, um, like Bluetooth speakers. Yeah. How do you make a Bluetooth? We just have a speaker. Well, speakers are easy. It's got to be small. Plug in the Bluetooth thingy. But like, okay, what does it design? What does the design yeah. look like? You think about some of the different, I mean, golly. And they're doing. How many different how Bluetooth many different speakers different, are there? Yeah. I've got three just off the top of my head. Yeah. And the designs of them. Um, so there's, there's the one. They do snowboards. They do playground equipment. Jeez. Vinyl coated, you know, obviously. So they're doing they're, UV they're, resistant, they resisting mold. A, I would like that on my guns, by the way. They're doing a wider range of products that I even knew. Like, I thought it was like they were kind of starting to be kind of like niche, but they're really broad. Phone cases, um, furniture, office furniture, like a chair. Okay. Dude. Everything. Yeah, everything. It's amazing. Like, when you sit sidewalls for above ground about, swimming pools. Really? Uh, dog toys and they're all chemists doing so, this stuff. So like, and then of course, like the pet dog toy guys come to them and be like, it needs to be tear resistant, durable. Yeah, I got this lab. It has it's a to, really big problem. Has to have. I'm no kidding, <laughs> right? Do you think they have like a lab full of like test puppies that they're like, here, let them play with? They this should for let a while. your GSP yes. test everything. Yeah, that dude has a jaw. He does. He would he would be a good one to, to test. He's a he's would be a great test dummy. So you know it has to be have the right color, and then it can't uh, contain BPA, heavy mm -hmm. metals, latex, natural rubber, phthalates. I don't know. So companies like, come to them with like, okay, right. this, this is, is what, what we envision. This is what we need it to do. How do we do that? Um, so applying this to the outdoor industry. Yes. So. I mean, and look at so, the companies that are doing really cool things now. Uh, Sig, Taurus. I mean, mm -hmm. they're all kind of going to the advancements of modern technology, and they're going to a company like Aviant so and is, going, hey. Yeah, this is going to be the behind-the-scenes <laughs> part for you guys. We're going to tell you, like, wait a minute. Ah, that's how that gun company so, did this. But before we do. Oh, what are we getting into? We're going to do a break. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Yay. Hey, oh. this is new from Franklin Armory. Um, the Franklin Armory GS173. So you know Franklin Armory for binary triggers. And what's the most popular prolific pistol out there? Glock. Glockenspiels. Um, so this is not just a trigger system okay. because they, I think they really wanted to upgrade the platform and they wanted to add some more capabilities. So this is actually, this is a whole top half. It's a so slide. It's a slide. And it has a selector, mm -hmm. and it has actually some good sights on it, and it has the trigger. Now, here's the important part to know about this. Yes, it is binary. So, so press of the trigger, bang, let go of the trigger, bang. Exactly. But you can cancel that second shot with the selector on the right. side of the slide. So you don't have to go binary all the time. So it's out now. You can learn more over at franklinarmory.com. Do you think a guy like uh, Rob Latham can cancel that second shot? Can we race somebody like, uh, or like a, a, a guy like that? So, or or a Shane Coley? Can we get Shane Coley oh, and race Shane Coley? I like this idea versus 
the Franklin Armory. What's going to be right. embarrassing is when Shane still beats us. I know. <laughs> We're like, wait a minute. Like, I, 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 I was it, gaming. If it. you've never shot a binary trigger, it's it's fairly. I mean, you've got to get used to it. Yeah. There's no anyway. So, all right, rangeReadyStudios.com. You know, this is our training facility. We have a bunch of classes going on, and. I'll be honest with you. A lot of the classes from now to the end of the year have kind of sold out, but we do have one that's going to, it's not exactly a class. It's a match called shoot SIG December 8th, 9th, 10th, or maybe it's just yep. 9th and 10th. 9th and 10th. Um, yeah. So look at that up and then be sure to sign up for the email list because we have a bunch of cool stuff coming up for next year. Yeah. We're actually putting the schedule together. And if you haven't taken one of the classes you've got to Ryan and I have each taken one and you walk away so much better, so much more comfortable in your shooting. Mm -hmm. uh, FN FN's got the new FN reflex series. I say it's new. It's still you've new. Been carrying that. I've been carrying it for a couple months. Well, number one, it comes with a holster. They already have holsters right. ready for it. So that makes it easy. You mm -hmm. go, okay, cool. I don't yep. have to go find a holster. They already have one. Um, but I really like the size. It's that micro compact, but full capacity size that you Dude, see in some others. It's about the trigger on that. But gun. it's about the trigger. And um, this is not actually a, a traditional trigger. Um, it's hammer fired, internal hammer fired, single action only. Yeah. It's a great trigger. Yeah, you're going to like it. I, I, I really believe what, what FN is putting out there right now with the reflex their 509 series mm -hmm. man they are they are really elevating their pistol game and we have a new uh sponsor rock river arms i mean oh. rock river arms i mean they're known for their long guns ars they they're they to me are one of those they're not like the most giant company but as far as been in the AR game for a long time, they know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. Um, the the folks who started it, I mean, they are they are kind of brilliant when they come to yeah. certain things. One of the things that impressed me, I was shooting Rock River Arms guns at a media event, mm -hmm. and they said, "Oh, you got to try this." And notice how our muzzle brake controls recoil. And, and I was like, like "Okay, yeah. you know," and and we shot it. I can't remember. Maybe we shot a full auto, but it was like there was no muzzle Stage rise. Level one. It made you look like a rock star. <laughs> it was like, I don't know what kind of sorcery is in this, yeah. but it's awesome. But they've got a bunch of other new stuff. I mean, we've been playing with uh, oh, the, with ascendant. the Ascent. The Ascent. Ascendant. Ascendant. ATH. Ascendant. Yeah. All terrain hunter. I like that. And they've got, and they, you can also have it with the Vortex Viper. HS4 16 by 44. Yeah. So, so it comes ready to go and you know it's going to be accurate. Rockriverarms.com to learn more. I know a lot of people are picking up actually more ARs right now. So get, I, get yourself a good one. It. Yeah, get it. Yeah, that's a good point. Is is don't we we love our build box show. We love piecing together stuff, but a lot of times it's stuff that we already like have lying about and we're like, okay, let's just add this. Mm -hmm. This sucker, the ascendant ATH, already comes equipped with the best stuff. Tricked so. out. Yeah, so check yeah. that out. All right, so let's talk about Aviant and what are they doing in the shooting world? So typically, so in my previous life, I was on, in the fishing industry mm -hmm. and they used to have the cat, the um, iCast, which is the basically shot show for the fishing industry. Yep. And you would go all the way over to the like bottom i was almost like being at the bottom basement at shot show but it was a fly fishing section <laughs> and it was the coolest thing because you could sit there and you could go and you see all these new technologies because it's all these smaller corporations able to go to like an avian and go what you were just saying is like hey i have an idea i want to make something super light i and i want it to taper like this and they've got chemists and they go yeah let's do that and then a couple of years later you see it on the like bass fishing side because they're right. like, oh, look at all this cool material well, think that we've about got. That like I don't even see again, we're just guys who talk into microphones, but <laughs> I mean, think about saying, Well, we have this fishing line, we have this fly line. Yeah. And when we need it to start at think about how how skinny a line is, but we actually need it to taper from I don't know what it would be, a hundred mm -hmm. pound test width yeah. to a two. Going, I, wait, how do you even make you're that? You're going to do that and maintain its strength. It? And, and maintain its strength because they yeah. came up with something that was like, 
nanofill fishing line that mm -hmm. was whisper thin. Like, I mean, it was like the size of a human hair and it was still maintaining like, I think it was like a 10 pound test rating. Really? Like, how cool was that? Like, <laughs> awesome. but they're doing a lot of this stuff and it's like companies like SIG that came up to them and said, oh, yeah. and said, Hey, we want to build this frame for mm -hmm. one of our pistols that's like tungsten infused and it's well i mean i think they said like wait basically the idea is if you go to you think formula one mm -hmm. you think fly fishing you think of these places where they get very innovative um in the competition shooting world that's where open division you give shooters all the options like yeah. basically there's almost no rules do whatever you want do whatever and just make it go fast yeah. they actually make their pistols heavier they're they were actually Attaching like, weights. Right. Just lead weights. Like and to their mags. Everything. Mm -hmm. Like make they, everything heavier. Yeah. And so if if you guys have been following this stuff for a while, the P320 TXG, <laughs> the tungsten infused grip Jeez. module. Which is crazy. And when you pick it up, it's like 48 ounces. Yeah. It's like a three pound pistol unloaded. You go, what? Why? Because it does not move. It doesn't move. The weight in your it's it's absorbing a lot of that recoil just based on the weight. But because we're we're so used to polymer guns. Oh yeah. And I don't know who the mad scientist is who goes, Well, when we're when we're brewing up the polymer, hey, let's sprinkle a little tungsten in there. Yeah. I wanna you know who I really <laughs> like to meet is the guy who said, Hey, let's do an air weight. Like I want to meet that guy and then punch him in and the then face. punch him right in the nose. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my hands. Look how light it is. Yeah, yeah but who great. wants to shoot plus P? No, nobody. <laughs> nobody wants to do that. And then like they start, then they start doing. It's the chemist. It's all these brilliant chemists out there working at Avian that you sit there and you go, yeah, let's just spr sprinkle a little magic dust in this of X amount and yeah. you get a forty-eight ounce frame. Like this isn't even the whole gun. It's just the the grip module. So there was kind of like this is this is the the backstory, right? So Sig said we need it to be super tough. We want it to still have polymer flex mm -hmm. to provide softer recoil because you can do a steel gun, yeah, and it's very rigid, heavy. There is no flex in right. a steel gun; it's a different feel. Um, but they wanted the weight of steel to reduce the muzzle flip, like we're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And it, it makes it does make such a difference. And if you've if you shot guns, I mean, you could shoot this, you know, TXG right up next to, you know, I mean, pick a gun. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't matter. It, and the weight is going to be so much more pleasant with this big gun than it would, you know, just a regular, you know, day to day, you know, G seventeen. Yeah, like way different shooting. Yeah, I mean, you're, that's what we're saying is kind of putting some modern technology into the manufacturing of these, of these products. So Ooh, what I want, you have an idea. I do have an idea for all <laughs> the chemists that, heavier or lighter. Hey, I know heavier. What would, what would happen if you took something that Avian's doing with the TXG grip and put it into like a 365 or a shield or a Hellcat? Yeah. Is you somebody going to say, I wonder would people go, well, I don't want my carry gun to be heavy. But if you're, I mean, you're carrying on a freaking belt anyway, like, and you're you know? like, you've got it strapped down. What would the shoot ability, would the shootability be would it better? Be, would it, yeah. Would it be that much better? I don't know. I mean, come on. I don't know. Um, I'm just saying might be something to look at. I was looking at another thing that we've got on our list here. Um, the Ezer, Ezer products. Ezer. Yeah. Ezer. Ezer. How do you spell that? Easier, easier, easier. I don't know. <laughs> Again, I went to public high school. I don't know anything, but um, this is kind of fun. It's a gun grip. And you've seen these sleeves that go on to the grip of a handgun. Yeah. That they either add a little width if you're looking for mm -hmm. that, or they just add a cushiness to help you get a grip. Yeah. Perhaps reduce recoil. Flexible foam to allow for effective grip. Um, I like this is, I'm, I'm glad these guys came up with this as a requirement for this. It had to be chemical resistant to DEET and, and gun, gun oil. oil. Well, yeah. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> you don't Jeez. want to spray, you know, you're out there 
shooting and you have bug spray I mean, on or gun wild. oil, you can't have it dissolve your rubberized no. foam grips there. UV resistance maintains your performance and appearance. So yeah, these these See, that's handy little like, avian black nerds foam. get together and go. Well, okay, we'll, we'll brew you up. Oh, uh, recoil pads too. They're doing recoil pads. Yeah, for high vis. That makes sense. Yeah. Let's Honestly, talk about recoil there... pads. <laughs> so recoil pads, um, that is that is an easy upgrade. We talk about like yeah. build box and customizing your guns. If you and usually it's an older gun that you like that it's not as comfortable because it's a hard right like i have some old shotguns that it's just freaking wooden on the back oh yeah there is no recoil pad no recoil dude add a recoil pad and it just reduces the the felt recoil mm -hmm. makes it more comfortable shoot also you can actually customize the length of pull so what you right. might want to do is you end up cutting the stock a little bit shorter and you add the recoil pad because okay. you're adding that length back and then Does you're that kind give of give you an opportunity to refit the gun to you. Yeah, better? yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. Or if you say a gun's too short, right? Just add a recoil just pad. Add a recoil pad. Yeah, yeah. And actually, that's something you can do with like a youth gun. Uh -huh. Okay, you got they can grow. you got a kid who's 10, 11, 12, but now he's hit puberty and he's fourteen, fifteen. The gun's starting to get kind of small for him. Yeah. Just add a recoil pad there. Yeah, and go buy another gun. Well, and then go buy another gun. I mean, gun. go no. That's when you go buy yourself another gun, <laughs> and then say, "Oh no, this is going to be yours down the road." <laughs> yeah, don't worry, son. Wait, why don't, don't I just get a new about gun? That. <clears throat> yeah, they did uh, the recoil pads for high vis. Um, Man, they 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 seem to. It's almost like it's one of those companies that it's. I mean, it's almost exactly like Gore Tex now that we think of it because they have their hand. They have. They're just touching a little bit of almost every product, it seems. Mm -hmm. That's that's kind of new and innovative. And, I mean, going to holsters. holsters yeah. yeah. I mean, that's another one. So oh, cable guards for compound bows. See, they're even in the archery industry. Like, they, they've got their hand in just a little bit of everything. Cable guards. So smart, smart. Oh. Oh, crossbows? What? All the new crossbow stuff? Hey, what do they not do? Mm -hmm. They tell do a me. lot. You got to tell me. Billions of things. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> My gosh. It's amazing. <clears throat> but innovative companies do. It's, like, it's cool. I mean, so it's kind of a just, we thought it'd be a fun, like, behind the scenes look at yeah. a company that's doing a lot of different things and, and what they're up to. Um, but first, uh, a couple more messages from our Awesome yes. sponsors, Ballistic Advantage. We've used their barrel, barrels on BuildBox. Mm -hmm. They've got some sales going on right now. A free VG6 muzzle device with a $250 purchase. That's Have you ever nice. shot one of those? The muzzle yeah, device? The muzzle device. Heck yeah. yeah. They're awesome. That's another they, one where you go, work. Uh, this is magic. This is voodoo. Yeah. Um, they've got they got another deal. 25% off performance barrels. I guess, well... While the deal lasts, twenty five percent off complete uppers. Talk about a nice, easy way to just go. Oh. Hey, new gun, put an upper on it. Different configuration, different caliber, different size, whatever you're looking for. So you can learn more over at ballisticadvantage.com. Six Hour has their own promotions going on. Buy an X Macro, get three additional magazines right now. Or you're gonna like this one. Buy a cross rifle, get a free bag. Heck yeah. Mm. Did you know they just launched their new Magnum cross? Oh. <laughs> oh, he's right. Yeah. I like the MAGA cross. Yeah. I cannot look at it. Don't I don't want to buy another one. Like, I've already got one cross. I love it. They don't make it left handed yet, though. No, they don't. Never mind. I'm not interested. <laughs> crap. Ryan's out. Immediately out. <laughs> it's crap. But go over to sixhour.com. Yeah, yeah. Check out the promo. It. No, it's good. They're good guns. <laughs> um Go check it out and uh, build box. Look for the new season of build box. We've been mentioning it. It's on the outdoor channel through the end of the year. Through the end of the year. There's, there's a Remington 700 build coming up that you're not going to want to miss. Just saying. And then uh Safari land, Safari land make lots of different holsters. Um, they have the NCOG X IWB holster, a collaboration between Safari land and Haley strategic partners. Ergonomic, mission adaptable, red dot sight compatible, 
multi-positional. There's a lot of words here. Deep concealment. Um, available f- fits for lights and non-light mm-hmm. versions. Available for the SIG P365X Macro. That's new. Ooh, now yeah. available for the... Oh, yep. I didn't even know that. Really? I have to get one of those in. Mm, yeah. So, yeah, go over to safariland.com and check out... The Incog X IWB holster. Uh, Chris did a write up on that. It's really nice. The holster is nice. I stole it. You- <laughs> <laughs> I stole it. Hey, uh, can you can I uh, see that? Yeah. For the article. Yeah. For yeah, purposes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I for reasons. Take pictures of it. <laughs> <laughs> for reasons. Yeah. For reasons. Come on, please. So, talking about Avian, what they're up to, and new products. Um, another one that I was looking at is this Taurus. So, although this is a couple years old, this is just kind of interesting. They actually worked with Taurus yeah. um, to develop new frames based on <clears throat> ergonomic principles, taking into account hand size, reduce muscle fatigue, improve okay. shooter comfort, um, soft thermoplastic elastometers, uh, soft touch points. You think about like that in- sounds very technical. <laughs> yeah, you're making stuff up, Ryan. Yeah, come on. Index points. Okay. You're like, okay. Yeah. The moment you touch it, it's texturized. It's soft. It's built into the frame. The frame. And they could put different colors on it, which I mean, went through that's the, cool. They went through the phase, the color phase there. I mean, yeah. that, that happens with some companies. <laughs> but. It's so so it's almost like paneling within the frame mm-hmm. in key areas like like a grip zone. Oh gosh, don't say grip zone. You're gonna upset everybody. <laughs> Damn you, grip I've, zone. I'm just throwing a grenade out there and just walking away. Did he just <laughs> like, say grip zone? He, I think he said You're grip zone. Dead zone. to me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm thinking about new products coming up. We are getting into it's that I'll season. be I'll be at the NASGW yeah. show. Uh, in Columbus, Ohio, this week, and then we've got Shot Show around the corner. Yeah, that's coming up quick. I wonder what Avian. I, I would be interested to get a list from them to say what what companies do you work with, but like how are, in what capacity are you working with? And I think there's yeah, I think like, there's some of them like it's secret. Yeah, it's like they they do it but they don't tell anybody that they're the ones behind I'll it. I just tell everybody. It doesn't matter. Like people are going to find out. Well, I think we're going to have some updates cuz now we started talking to these folks and I think it's interesting what they're up to. Um I think they're going to have some updates on new new technology and I will give you a hint. It is nothing that we mentioned here. It's nothing in any of those categories, but it's really? in the gun world. No kidding. Ooh. Now you got me thinking. Mm. It's in the gun world. I don't think you Nothing. even know. No, I don't. I'm <laughs> so if I get close, would you like nod or you say touch yes? your nose? Yes. If, <laughs> like if I'm in the ball. I mean, are we talking optics? Uh, you know, probably with these guys, anything's on the table. That's true. That would be interesting. Could you? Well, could you save weight in an optic? Because optics are heavy. The glass. Right. That's what I'm thinking. Adds weight, and you can't really change. Glass, I wouldn't think. No, but maybe the, the, maybe the tube, maybe the tube, or the innards that mm. you know. That's where I think mm. if I could pick one spot where I would love to save weight, like when fixing a scope to head out in the backcountry, like you just did, mm-hmm. um, to take out hunting, the scope seems to be the biggest one where you're like, it is what it is. Like, is there a better way to do? Or that? if it was a big old PRS gun, would you want to add weight? I'm like, these are tungsten infused scope rings oh oh my gosh dude. and then you're, like, you're starting to i'm talk. gonna make a hey. scope ring base thing that weighs like a pound dude can you not just do a whole tungsten infused chassis oh gosh i'm I sorry mean, everybody I, no think <laughs> about that <laughs> the avian's like stop it now would that really? be expensive though well i mean People just as expensive people, as like people. attaching weights to your all your that's M-lock, what I mean. M-lock panels along your rail mm-hmm. or your your fore end. I mean, because that's what they're doing now. They're tra- they're adding those weights, but if you go ahead and infuse that into make it heavy, make it heavy. You make the chassis alone heavy. 
I'm telling you, I think it would work. It's a crew served weapon at this point. Yeah. <laughs> it like, takes here, a, Ryan, will you three help me people move to the next position. <laughs> like in shooting. Like please. You're gonna have like, like turrets over there. that you're like yeah. you're adjusting the the rifle up. I mean, if you think a like a P three twenty TSG weighs forty eight ounces, the frame alone, mm-hmm. forty eight ounces. Yeah. I bet you can get I bet you they can get a stock that weighs twelve pounds. Yeah. The stock alone. Yeah, like, not for backcountry hunting. No, huh? <laughs> no, not at all. Not even close. But I mean, if you did something like that, it would sell. I guarantee it would sell. Yeah. Well, I think anything. If you say if you make something, the smallest, mm-hmm. or the biggest, or the lightest, or the look, heaviest. Look at the five hundred. <laughs> you know, it's like this is absurd. And I'm, I'm sure. Yeah, Smith and Wesson yeah. five hundred. Yeah. I'm sure in meetings. There were certain people in the meetings who went, this is stupid. Why would anyone need this? And then you slap them across the face. Because they'll buy it. Because it doesn't matter what anyone needs. That's what we're going to sell them. Yeah. I mean, that's all it is. And and people would buy it. Like, I would be interested in that if I'm, I mean, I'm not going to lug it around in the field, but. 20 pound gun. But they do carbon fiber too. It's not, the Aviant doesn't do only like, okay, let's make things heavier and figure that, that end of the deal out. They're also figuring out like carbon fiber and they're figuring mm-hmm. out how to make things lighter and more economical and, and get saving on weight. It kind of does get your mind going because I mean, it would be interesting to sit down and like go, well, what could be done here? Right. Because we want it to be I mean, super lightweight, but super strong. I mean, yeah. I mean, but you could also go the other way and you could, we could start a whole new company right now, Ryan. And it's, it's the, tungsten infused rings it's the tungsten mm-hmm. infused stocks it's you know it's all gear dedicated on weighing stuff down tungsten infused sleep blankets oh gosh <laughs> so <laughs> heavy it's so cuddly so nice. <laughs> <laughs> i couldn't do it i feel like i was trapped i feel like this weekend like spinning dude so uh, can i tell you a really quick story about like yes. th- this exact thing? totally off topic oh, it's completely off topic so i, <laughs> I take like my it. son out hunting and we're just camping out in the middle of nowhere like literally in the middle of nowhere and like i'm like well i'm gonna bring an air mattress because I'm, I'm my body's too broken and too beat up to sleep just flat on the ground mm-hmm. well the air mattress we have has to be at least like two and a half to three foot tall <laughs> And so I'm like, oh, well, I'll just bring that one. I think it'll fit in a two-man tent. I had <laughs> I had to squeeze through the whole You were spelunking. T- yes, I was <laughs> and sleeping. The head, my head was like pressed up against the ceiling. Oh God. My son loved it. He was like, This is great. I'm like, Yeah, you're short. My feet hung out. <laughs> I have eight. so many bug bites <laughs> on my ankles. Because my feet hung out the door. <laughs> Didn't think this through, did you? I did you? not think it through at all. I was so mad. No, <laughs> but he was No reason me. to test all your I gear know. beforehand. No. No, please. Come, on, Avian, that. come out with a, a smaller air mattress. <laughs> That's what we need. <laughs> yes. And I do have a single person one, but it's like not that wide. And I didn't want to leave have... him sleeping on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I could have done that. <laughs> Go sleep in the truck, kid. <laughs> like, let me take this. <laughs> but yeah. So anyway, that's kind of just a little behind the scenes look. We'll try to find some other companies that are a little behind the scenes. Maybe not the yeah. ones that you know about. I mean, you guys know Sig and Smith yeah. and Taurus, but there's so many other companies that are doing interesting things in the gun world that it's worth talking about. So it's kind of fun to to look at that side of it. It's. I, it, and it's amazing. Actually, it's amazing. And you're probably doing it right now as we're talking to s- what else is possible. Like, mm-hmm. what else are corporations like this, like Aviant, doing to make our lives easier? And Ooh, you know where else they could do some cool stuff would be targets. What oh type gosh, of targets yeah. that they could come up with? Yeah. Because they're talking about like plastic playground equipment. Right. What Why could they? You? What could they do with targets? Or portable, like movable walls. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. We're going to give away a million dollar idea right here. Yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, that's it for us, I think. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. Go, give it's them neat. a look. Uh, 
You can. I, I mean, it's not like it's. That's the funny part. That's why I say it's like Gore Tex. It's not like you're gonna go like I'm gonna go out and buy me a, a can of Vortex. A Gore Tex. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of a company that does stuff with other companies and they make interesting things possible. So it's awesome. Um, uh, Aviant dot com is where you, you can want, find out more about them. You want to nerd out about I this mean, stuff? Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it for us. We'll see you next time on Gun Talk Nation. Mm-hmm.